So this week is, or actually this month is National Oatmeal Month. I mean, who knew oatmeal had a month? I mean, I think that's crazy, but it's great, right? Because oatmeal, you know, a lot of people say oatmeal is super healthy. I think it's just good. Um, I think oatmeal is as healthy or as bad as you want to make it. I know my son, Max, he likes to put so much stuff on his oatmeal. I'm not so sure it's healthy anymore. But anyway, hey, they have their own month. So what I thought we would do this week is we would take the national food, which is oatmeal, and serve it a little bit different way. So I don't know, maybe you guys have seen, I have this uh, PowerXL waffleizer. Now this is a stuffed waffle maker. And the air fryer will come in later if you guys wanna, wanna talk about air frying, we can. But I thought it would be fun to make a waffle completely out of oatmeal. So I tried it a couple of times, it works great. Takes a little bit extra time to cook, we'll talk about that. And uh, why don't I show you how to make it? So with this product, the PowerXL Waffleizer, the light tells you, see, see the light turns green, Max? When the light turns green, that means you can put the food in. So how do we do it? I open it up, and then what I did is I just made some instant oats. And um, I did that with this. You can use any oats. I used this one for today. I used, um, it was just sort of like the store brand for the other day. You can use uh, any kind of oats that you want. Um, what you wanna do though, is you wanna add less liquid because we want our oats clumpy. Now, you guys might wanna eat your oats a different way than this, but to make it into a waffle, we wanna make sure that we don't have a lot of water content in there. So you just kinda add less water or cook it a little longer or let it sit a little longer. That's really all you have to do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take some of the oatmeal and then just put it right down on the waffle maker. And because it's ready to cook, you'll hear that it's sizzling, which is cool. And then I'm just going to start uh, smashing it down. Victoria asks, can you use steel cut or slow cooked oats instead of instant oats? Yeah, that's a great question. So any oats will work, whether you wanna use the instant oats or the slow cooked oats or the steel cut oats. The key, you guys, is that you just wanna make sure that you cook them so the consistency sticks to a spoon, like that. <laughs> you know, they always say oatmeal like sticks to your gut. Well. It's gonna to stick to the spoon. And that's when we know that we can make it. So uh, that's the first layer. And then you can put whatever you want inside. That's what's cool about this. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of uh, strawberry preserves just to sweeten it up a little bit. Now you can go like sort of the nuts and raisins root like this, or you could add blueberries and raspberries. And like right here, I'm just gonna add it all because Everything here tastes good together. So you just kind of smash that down. Remember, this thing is really hot, so be careful. And then I take another layer of oats, and what I want to do now is I want to just cover the uh, fruit. Steffi Pigroff asks, how much oatmeal are you putting into the deep well? Well, okay, so that's a great question. There's two different size waffleizers. Um, there's one that's uh, five inches, they call it, and then there's one that is, um, it's seven inches. I'm using the really big seven inch waffleizer here. So what you wanna do, don't think too much about the quantities. I tell you in the recipe, you want about three cups of cooked oatmeal for the big one. And then you just wanna make sure that you cover the fruit and then just kinda of right to the top of, of the waffle maker. Now, oatmeal doesn't expand. If you're making a waffle, it expands. So you don't wanna go higher than like three quarters of the way up. But because waffles don't really expand, you can go a little bit higher. You just wanna make sure that these peaks touch the oatmeal when it comes down. And you heard sizzle. Now what I can do is just flip it. Then you cook it. Now normally, like if you make a waffle, like you can make these waffles in like six minutes, seven minutes, super easy. Even if you make a croffle, if you guys watched me a couple of weeks ago, I made a croffle which is a crescent roll dough. You pop it in the waffleizer, put some stuffing in, put more, more crescent rolls on top, and then you waffleize it. And then that, they only take about five or six minutes. This waffle will take longer because remember, it's just pure oatmeal. So it has to cook through, it has to set up and harden up. So you're gonna see steam pouring out the sides. That's what you want. You want all that water to cook off. You wanna turn it into a waffle. And then um, after about, I wanna say, guys, it's a good 15 minutes, maybe 20, 
depending on the seven inch or the five inch. And then what happens is, this is what it looks like right here. So there, guys, there is nothing in here except oatmeal and whatever you saw me put in the stuffing. That's it. I mean, it's pure oatmeal because uh, it's fitting, right? Because it's oatmeal month. So I'm gonna cut this open so you can see what it looks uh, like inside. Kristen T asks, can you stuff the oatmeal waffle with chocolate? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, Kristen, you can stuff it with whatever the heck you want. Um, that's what's really cool about this item. If, if you like it, if you can think it, you can stuff it. And um, when I say stuff it, I mean that in the most respectful of ways because we're talking about waffles. So look at this, you guys. That is a stuffed, it's literally not really a waffle, right? It's an oatmeal stuffed in a waffle maker. And this is, a, I put blueberries, I put some nuts, I put all sorts of stuff in here. Now, like I said, Max, he would probably, my son who's filming today, he would probably put syrup, butter, more syrup, probably <laughs> confectioner sugar. <laughs> God only knows what else. And, and that's the way he likes it. So, hey, I always say eat it the way you like it, right? So I'm just going to serve this with some extra blueberries and nuts. Um, truth be told, I forgot to grab the syrup and the butter out of the fridge, so I'm not going to do it. But I think that looks pretty cool, man. That's a tower of stuffed oatmeal waffle. Uh, Max, who else is out there today? Um, Paula oh. Bucchia. Oh, <laughs> that's Paula right. Bucchia was the first one here. Hey, Paula, uh, George, you're the first. George Fox. George uh, Fox Chris is here. T. Hey, and, George Fox. Uh, I haven't Mary seen Tan. you in a long time, man. Thanks for tuning in, man. Who else is out uh, there? And uh, Mary Tan. Mary Tan. Hi, Mary. How you doing today? Rita Franz. Hey, Rita. What's going on? I hope, uh, listen, I hope you guys try this. And by the way, if you do, please, please share this uh, Facebook Live, YouTube, or, or Instagram, wherever you're watching it and uh, tag me, and I'd love to see how your waffles turned out. Remember, cook them, at, cook them a lot longer than you think you need to. Anybody else out there, Max? Um, Paula Buccia. Um, hi, Christine Grawl. Hey, Christine Grawl, how are you? And you know what, Max, by the way, my mother bought me this shirt for Christmas, so I wanted to make sure I wore it. <laughs> I think it's really, really nice, Mom. <laughs> it, it reminded me of a waffle day, I don't know why. So happy waffle day. <laughs> uh, Nora Alberto asks, uh, can you refrigerate these and eat them for breakfast the next day? Oh man, How that's would you a, yeah. it? Nora, that's a great question. Um, you want to, right? Because look, look, you can, you can even see the nuts and, and the berries in there. Absolutely. Put them in the fridge and then there's two ways you can do it. I like it. I like things crispy. Um, my wife, Jesse, she likes things kind of like soggy, not my thing. So she would put it in the uh, microwave. We've done it. Pop it in the microwave, just wrap a tissue around it. You know, you know, like a paper towel, a little wet paper towel, and, and then just new, uh, microwave it for about, I don't know, 30 seconds, 45 seconds. They come out great. What I do is I took it, I popped this baby right in the air fryer with a little pat of butter, and man, it's like, forget about, uh, forget about oatmeal cookies. So remember, I didn't put any sugar in, in here. It's not like eating it... Um, it's not like eating an oatmeal cookie or anything like that. Now, the stuffing is really what brings out the sugar or what you put on top. So we, I left it that way because I wanted you to add the sugar or not. Uh, so you could just have pure oatmeal and nuts if you wanted to. So they come out great the next day. You just have to pop them in the microwave or the air fryer. Uh, Sherry Luspinenzo asks, I just got mine. Can't wait to try it. Oh, Wondering cool. if biscuits can go in there too. Oh, yeah. We call those croffles. Take the crescent rolls. I'm telling you, once you do the crescent rolls in here or even a bagel, you'll, you'll be like, why am I eating waffles? Waffles are great. But when you see all the different things you can do in here, you're going to love that even more. So um, by the way, I'll be selling this live uh, Sunday in the kitchen with David. I'll be selling this and the smokeless grill from Power Excel. So tune in. You can see another... Uh, I'll probably do like four or five things. And I know David and QVC, they'll probably have a bunch of four or five things to do in the waffleizer as well. So I hope you'll tune in. Also, I just want to tell you guys my 
website is up and running, ericthies.com. You can order uh, some of my older books there. Uh, I know a lot of people have been looking for them, so you can get them there. You can get them autographed if you want. I'm happy to do that. We send them out right out of here. And um, just a quick announcement. Here's my new cookbook, Loving Your Air Fryer. Uh, this book is going to debut very soon. I'm going to give you extra details on that. I'm going to actually do a little video to kind of introduce the book. There's the back and then um, here's the front. Look at all that delicious food. So what I like to say, this book is filled with that healthy crunch. So if you like air frying, you're going to love this because you're going to be loving your air fryer. All right. So that's enough of me. I hope you guys will um, tune in next week, Thursday. I forget what I'm doing. But anyway, check me out on Sunday on QVC. Wave to me, give a call, and um